Shooting at about F2. I think Megs will be able to pull off wrestling bitch face quite nicely. How do we do this? She's not a bitch. Lean forward, do a smile there. She just has like a nice face that is nice, pleasant, aesthetically pleasing when resting. I think shooting aperture priority is cheating. Yeah, nice, that's cool. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here with Megs. Hi. She is the beautiful model today and we're going to do some stuff with a few props. We've got a Fujika film camera, we've got a nice hat and we've got some beautiful reeds behind us. So we're gonna use some texture. So let's get stuck into it. Is there anything you wanna say? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, epic. Uh, let's do it. I don't really want to get in the shadow, so make sure the sun is, you're out of the way of the shadow, shooting in direction this way. So I'm going to do a few different angles. So I'm going to go straight on eye, so eye level. All right, so just hold your boobs there. Three, two, one. Remember, don't look at me when I'm taking photos. Remember oh, okay. to look through here. Yeah. yeah. Nice, and maybe just look out that way. Yeah. Right, come in a bit closer. Look at me. Look out that way, both hands on hat. Now let's do resting bitch face. Gonna get your hands, gonna get details of your hat. Go left side, so that light's in your face. No, they're good. I mean, yes, nipples are covered. They're good. Not too saggy. No, they're, they're great. Oh, swap, because I want your eyes in the sun. Yeah, look down at me. Use a little bit of depth here. Nice, I like this actually. A little bit of negative space in the sky. I've got a little bit of depth of these reeds. And your wind's blowing in your hair nicely. Yeah, that's cool. So look out, cool, look at me. Sweet, okay, I'm gonna get a wide one here. Yep, hold that. Keep your hand on your hat. Okay, so we've done some standing ones. Now we're just gonna do a few squats, kind of like sideways, and do a little bit of movement around that. And again, this is like quite nice, using the depth of these reeds as a, dark, as a background, which is quite cool. And Meg's is facing the sun, so it's getting more of the sun on her face. You can play around with it as well. It's sort of just like using shadows to create a little bit of depth as well, which contrast is nice too. Yeah, look at me. I just want to try and maybe use these little bit of depth of these reeds here. Okay, look over your shoulder at me. Yeah, hold that. Hold your hat with one of your hands. Yeah, yeah, but move to, I just want to see your eyes. You can see, you can try and sort of move your hair a little bit. Yeah, hold that. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, sweet, I'm gonna come in a bit closer. Maybe just chin up and just sort of look up at the sky. Yeah, that's quite nice. Turn your body a little bit towards me. Chin up, look at the sky. Just like embrace the sun. Nice, look down at me. Yeah, cool. So I'm at one eight thousandth of a second, 2.5 ISO 200. And this is good to tell people as well. It's like, when you're hearing the shutter, I guess like those, you know, proper models, just, they're just like yeah. moving, always moving. So you could like put your hand there, look down, look out. I guess it's just kind of like that. Yeah, you could almost like just put your hands, yep, like that. And then sort of look at the camera. Yep, hold that. Super nice, okay. Awesome. Yeah, actually go back to that. I really like that. And sort of just like a little bit flirty, looking at the camera. Now look down. Cool, look up at me. Nice, get a vertical one of that. Super nice. Sweet, now like face directly towards me. Yeah, even kneel. You can like drop, maybe drop. Drop like that, drop like that. And just sort of just see how like move around. Yep, there, cool. Maybe just take a little, actually I can go back. I can go back. Yeah, I'll use these reeds. So your knees are in the sand. Got a nice natural vignette of shadow uh, below you there, that's cool. And maybe just like a bit of a fun one, like lean forward, bit of a smile there. Yeah, and look at the camera while you're doing it. Now let's stand up. Um, yeah, I want you to yeah, hold like that, but then look out towards the sun. And I'm just gonna get like, I want the light on your face though, that's all. Cool, so I'm just looking up, creating a bit of power stance. Maybe just hold the rim of your hat, nice. Yeah, okay, start out there actually, that's quite cool. And just like hold your hands out um, and then just walk into the reeds there. Wild and free. Yeah, nice. Nice, and you can even like maybe turn around, look at me. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, nice, that's cool. Play with it a bit there. Actually hold that there. Even like turn around and like hold the camera up to your face. Yep, hold that. Since camera inception, hold that there, sweet. Now you can walk further into it. 
cool, that was a bit of fun, liked it. And now I'll swap you. <laughs> and now I wouldn't mind getting some like, a couple of portraits with the camera, with the, with the white top on, sitting down, or like just creating reads as a bit of a background as well. Cool, um, both hands, oh yeah, both hands on it. Yep, nice. Yeah, hold that. Kneel down in front of this little reed here. Yeah, kneel, yep. Hold it to your face. But let's try and go vertical. So like, I want to see one eye. Maybe go the other side. It, does that feel, is that not natural? Go like that. No, like, <laughs> like that. yeah, there we go. So the idea of this shot is to like, see the sun glimmering on your eye. So we can like really nicely see your eye lit up. But as well, like you kind of, you, you're shooting a photo, but with your eye, eyes open, but not many people, yeah. It's just a bit of a concept anyway. Elbow in a bit more, yeah. Now let's go elbow wide, I might just cut it off. Yeah, yeah, okay, hold that. So this is a nice portrait of you. I'm just gonna try and focus on your eyeball there. Let me get a wider one. Yeah, just actually look at the camera, like pretend that there's something on the back of it. Like you can actually see it, yeah, that's cool. Storytelling, perfect. Now look at me, laugh. So you pull off resting bitch face as well as smiling. You like, you got the double win. <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> cool, that's nice. Yeah, you can hold like the rim of your hat, hold your... Now stand up. Get this picture of, I just got this idea of like, sort of you hold your, hold your camera to the head, your head, your eyes, but then look out that way. And I just want like quite negative space there. Oh, a bit of a curve in the, I like that actually. Kind of like, cur yeah, leg forward. Curve the hip a little bit. Hold that, hand in pocket. Nice. Back pocket, yep. Cool, now I'm just gonna do that classic thing where it's like, uh, out of, you're out of focus, and there's like reads are in focus sort of thing. Just something a little bit different, a bit creative. I'm just focusing on the beach, and Meg's is out of focus. Can kind of look cool sometimes. It's a little bit different in a gallery, just mixing it up a bit. Okay, hold that composition and that pose because I really like that. I'm going to drop the camera a little bit, get up. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like that too. Nice. Oh, there she is. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, actually look down at the camera. Nice. Put your head up again. Look down at me. Sick. Now just put your camera in the hands. Let's get details of the camera. Now we'll take your hat off. <clears throat> That's okay if it goes in your hair, in your face a little bit as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, use your hair. Look at me. Elbows in, both hands. Yeah, yeah. Hold that there. Hold that there. Yeah, hold that. Yeah, like that. But we can do a couple just like hand, both hands in back pockets as well. Mm -hmm. So let's start with just using your hair. Yeah, lights just on your face there. Nice. I know. It's hard. Yeah, it there. is hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, We'll just run with it. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Yes, let the wind, let the wind just kind of take your hair. Awesome. Yeah, nice. It looks really cool when the wind just blows it up. It's sick. Even embrace the wind, look up, close your eyes a bit. Yup. Look at me. Yeah, let the hair just blow. <clears throat> oh yeah, star shot. What's the, that ad? <laughs> RAC ad or something like that. Perfect. Toyota. Actually, that's a Toyota ad, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Just got an image in my mind that I got off Pinterest where she's like quite freeing in the reeds, hands are out, quite a wide shot, maybe on 35 mil, hats out in this inner hand and just like looking, just sort of like walking through. Freedom, I think at picture in my mind, I see that, I feel freedom. Yep, yep, I like this, cool, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, love it. Okay, that's actually quite cool, but maybe... <laughs> cool, get a bit lower. Look down at, the, down at the ground. Awesome, wider shot here. Hold that there, continue to hold that. It's super nice pose there. Cool, just hold that. Actually, I'm gonna do one more, get a bit closer. Actually, go one hand, one hand, <laughs> one hand on hat, okay. like around the side, and then your left hand is out towards me. Okay, and action. Yes, hold right there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so like thumbs. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yep, hat there. 
Then that other hand's on your hat, hands there, covering your tag. Your right leg forward, beautiful, you up. Um, bring it back slightly, don't over accentuate it too much, but yeah. Now, now resting bitch face, you up, look straight in the camera. Eyes are the windows to the soul. The eyes are the window to the soul. Beautiful, cool, shooting up, creating a bit of power. I like this. Okay, nice. Okay, I got a reflector, it's reflector time. Purpose of this is to show you how well a reflector works. So we've got some nice light coming in now, it's a bit softer. Um, so if we get Megs to turn towards me, hi, <laughs> look at this. Okay, so on a reflector, it's good to bring a reflector to a shoot if you have time or just make time because it can make a real big difference. So if we got Megs, just take half a step back there, sort of get that, sort of move your, position your body, position, yeah, position your body to get a little bit of rim light as, as the, and lower your legs a little bit, lower the knees to just get that, that sun peeking over the hat or the model or whatever it is, just to get that nice sun flare. And you can see the shadows on her face are quite dark. But if we lift up the reflector, it takes the shadows off her face. So there's with the reflector, get it out of, the, out of there and then without. With, without. See, it makes a nice difference. You just lift those shadows on her face. You can smile, bit of a smiley one. There we go, lovely. Bring your reflector uh, to help when you want to do some backlit stuff and remove those shadows from your subject's face or body or whatever it may be. Cool, we can also go gold to create, whoa, that's got like pretty gnarly reflections. That's a bit much, but look at that, holy shit. Okay, perfect. So we can also use this as a diffuser to soften the light too. So you can take this cover off. I think this is like called a five in one or something like that. And we can rip this, please hold that. Yep. We'll rip the reflector colors cover off and then put that down. And then it's a diffuser, so it softens the light. So if you turn this way, you stand there, especially middle of the day when you've got really harsh light, we can take a photo without changing any settings, a little bit over exposed, put a, don't hit your <laughs> model in the face. And uh, how do we do this? Okay, there we go. So, and then it creates that nice soft light. Okay, and then, yeah, look at that. So it really diffuses the light. Holy oh, shit, watch your head. Diffuses the light and creates that nice softer light on a face instead of being super harsh like that. So another really good reason when you're shooting food or just you want to soften the light in the middle of the day. Diffuser, works great. Awesome, yeah, play with your hair, move around a little bit. You can kind of look down. Yeah, hold that there, yeah, cool. Your hand around, both hands on your head. Yeah, play with your hair, look at me. So it's still backlit and it's like very overexposed and it's blown out, but at least you're exposed. So always exposed for your subject. Probably a bit nicer actually using this way. So you can kind of like tilt the model that way. Use that light to get a little bit more backlit and there's some rim light around her hair here. I'll take a photo of it. This is called rim light. So you can shoot at a bit of an angle away from the sun so it's not super blown out as it would be shooting this way. So we can just turn our body a bit, use this nice light, use a diffuser and we get that, get the shadows off her face and get this nice rim light along her hair. So this also looks really nice as well. Yeah, hand up, have your hands up, nice. Yeah, that's cool, hold that. On your head, put your hands on your head. Yeah, cool, hold that. Couple of portraits here with the camera and the hat with some backlit stuff. I'm not gonna get the reflector this time. I'm just gonna get, might just move around a little bit here. And I'm gonna use this light, this soft glow on your face. I like it. Maybe kneel down again. Okay, so this is probably a bit nicer. The light is nice and soft on your face. So just kneel down, look, had it, yeah, look straight at me. Yeah, nice soft light, okay. So the sun's gone, so as soon as the sun's gone now, we're gonna use that soft glow on her head. Okay, so yep, look straight at me. Awesome, hold that. I'm at 1.2, 1 12.50 of a second. Nice, now look out to the ocean. Cool, you can like lean over a little bit. Yep, oh, really become a bit saucy. Uh. <laughs> okay. You don't want, we don't want saucy. Okay, okay, cool, this is really nice. Now just even tuck your shirt in. 
Can you like, t oh, can you tuck it? Yeah, no, as in, as in like tie it. Oh, okay. Does that work? Like that. Yeah. Tie it up. Okay, yeah, hold that. Cool, so your head is th third. These are really nice, light's good. Um, using Meg's head, like top third of the frame. Nice, but it's a few smiley ones. Maybe bring your heads, your hands to, to your hat. Okay, a couple of laughs there. <laughs> Hand on head, cool. Nice, relax your face, awesome. Super nice soft light. So I'm just getting it from the belly button up. Awesome, you can even bring more hair around. Bring the other hand up, sort of play with your hair there. Yep, yep. Yeah, cool, hold that. Now just bring your arm out, extend your arm. I'm gonna use that as depth. Kind of like go to touch the camera a bit and just like leave it out like that. Yep, hold that. Comes through every time. Love shooting on the 50 mil, really low aperture, 1.2. So that's his wrap. We're gonna, Megs is gonna get dressed, get warm um, and sign out. That's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, in this last section here, I think it's really important to utilize the light and figure out what you want to do. I got a little bit confused there on which way I wanted to face when the sun was just going down because I like to shoot a bit of backlit stuff with that golden glow like shimmering around the, the bodies um, or the, mat, the model. Um, but it just, it was blowing out a lot of the shadows and I didn't love it. So if, as soon as that sun goes down, you can like turn your body, shoot away from the sun so the model is facing like this soft the sun essentially but it's down behind the the down behind the horizon um, because it'll give this really nice soft glow and i think that's what we figured out then so we're always learning from every single shoot so utilize that soft glow and we got some really nice photos there um, and i hope you guys learned something really appreciate you guys watching again um, if you want to like subscribe share that would be appreciated and uh megs what did you get out of this shoot anything cool I think variety is key. Don't be happy just with one angle and one direction. Just change it up as much as you can. Yes, sure. yes. <laughs> and I probably could have got more details as well. As well, I could have got more like hands and things like that. So don't forget a part of the whole story. We're getting like uh, some nice portraits and lifestyle stuff, but don't forget to get like labels, hands, hats, parts, just little, little bits of details because they'll add to the whole gallery, which is really important. But that was amazing. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Yes. <laughs> Like the sun